Ari. Sister Keris and? Autumn. Sister Autumn, how are you doing? Good, how are you? So you got a jacket there? Yeah. It looks nice, it's got buttons. It looks like it's designed. Is it different colour? Am I seeing things? Yeah. Is it, is it one jacket with different? One jacket, yeah. That's very unique. Are you into fashion? No. Okay, but that's very unique. So the person who made this jacket, did you make or did you buy it? I bought it. Okay, you bought it. So somebody designed that? Yeah. And gave it a purpose? Yeah. Okay, have you ever wondered what's your purpose? Or who's created I you? I know what my purpose is. Do you believe in God? No. Okay, what's your purpose in life? To be happy. Okay, but what do you mean by happiness? To just enjoy my life. Okay, but do you think that's ultimate happiness? Like, I used, I used to, like, I'm a Muslim, by the way. I came to Islam 10 years ago. So I used to live this lifestyle of happiness, clubbing, partying. It never, it never made me happy. Deep down, I wasn't happy. When I'm in that club... I don't go clubbing, I don't go partying. Very good. So that's what you're like, living I'm not saying that makes me happy. Okay, so... I really need to assume that, actually. I'm, I'm, forgive me for assuming. I was talking about myself. But, right. so what do, you, what do you think happiness is for you? Like, tell me, like, on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know. Honestly, I can't, I can't yeah. explain it. it, it, it <laughs> you it, take this one. What was the question? So what, what do you think makes you happy in life? Like, what would you say is things what that you, like, you know, I feel fulfillment? Okay, good. Now, alcohol is the mother of all evils. If you think about it, when you drink alcohol, there's a lot of people that drink dry. Why the camera? It's not really yeah, I, I, I don't know. We're just having a discussion here. So the thing is, sister, if you think about it, yeah, alcohol is the mother of all evil. And the statistics that show that a lot of strange rape happens due to, you know, females drinking too much and ending up with someone where they shouldn't be, yeah? So do you not think that alcohol, yes, in the in the situation, in the moment, where you want to forget your sorrows is there as a solution, but in the long run, do you not think it harms your body? Like, does it <laughs> yeah, show it alcohol? probably does. It's so so do you not think that in the long run it's bad for you? Of course. So why do people turn to there's alcohol? There's a lot of shit things in it. Yeah, but that's the same reason as like why don't people turn to other things? Like mm. alcohol is just one of the reasons of coping with stuff. Okay, so what makes you happy then? Okay, good. So that's a good question, sister, yeah? So the, the, the thing what I would say personally What's myself that? is that Hello? I would personally, sister, back in the days, like I would think, okay, doing this, or like my friends would take drugs, etc. Oh, we but we, we believe... Oh, it's fine, that's fine. It's fine. So anyways, guys, so the point that we was making here is that if you, if you listen to her, yeah, if you listen to the, one of the sisters there, she was saying that alcohol. Now, alcohol, yes, they say that in the moment they drink, it makes you forget your sorrows, which she admitted. But it's the mother of all evils, yes? If you look at it, it statistics show that alcohol harms women more than it does men, for biological reasons, yeah? But it just, it just shows you that people have nowhere else to go. Why? Because when it comes to religion, they think to themselves, oh, religion, forget that, that's old, you know, that's like a caveman mentality and all that kind of stuff. So they don't even give it a chance. If they only gave it a chance, they would understand and realize that there is the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the remembrance of God. That's what Allah says in the Quran. Indeed, with my remembrance, your hearts find peace. And in another verse, it says, if you forget my remembrance, you'll have a depressed life. Which means what? The soul is craving for the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, because that is created, that's where it belongs. But what happens is, sadly, people come and give it alcohol, give it drugs, give it partying, give it whatever it may be, and never, because if you see, the definition was what? Happiness, pleasure, yeah? These are the two gods of liberalism, pleasure and pain. We don't want pain, we want maximum pleasure. But who says having maximum pleasure is absolute happiness? It doesn't, because at the end of the day, in the long run, it causes you harm. And that's what Allah says in the Quran, you might love something which is bad for you and you might hate something which is good for you. So even though subhanAllah turn into a religion following it, people think, oh, that's so long. But you're already doing that with the lifestyle you live. You're following a way of life that's going to cause you nothing but misery. So for subhanAllah, obviously it's cold. We know not many people can stay. We know that girl had to make a little fake phone call thing. It's understandable. I know these kind of things, uh, but it's fine at the end of the day. If we gave it some thought-provoking discussion, it's fine. But as you can see, people are not interested. When it comes to talking about purpose, talking about death, it's an uncomfortable reality. It's a bitter truth and they don't want to hear it. They just want a sweet lie. But anyways, at the end of the day, you know, it was nice that they stopped and talked to us. And I hope it was some sort of a thought-provoking discussion. We didn't get to do it. But anyways, I don't blame them. It is quite cold. But we'll carry on. We'll carry on our search, inshallah. Uh, I was speaking to people.